Hi, this is Christine from GeckoGullyWebsites.com. Um, I've been approached by somebody who's having a bit of problems with their menu on their WooCommerce website, their WooCommerce WordPress website. Um, I'm actually uh, blanking out the details of which website this is, but um, you know, because just for privacy purposes. But um, I want to show you what the problem is that this person is having. First problem is it's all to do with this menu along here. The first problem is that when they click on the home button it's taking them to a page which is actually called home which I'll show you when it comes up which is this one now the problem with this is this is not what they're using as the home page uh, the one that they're using as the home page is the one that you get when you click on the uh, the name of the website up here so that's the first problem is the link to the home page is not correct the second problem is if you hover over shop we have some um, some uh, categories here which are supposed to be product categories but when you click on these it's not actually taking you to the product category it's taking you to a page with the the same name so a page with the name bath and body for example now I want to explain to you um, how this menu should have been set up to achieve what it is that they they want to achieve so what I've done is uh, because I don't have access to this admin uh, this is another one of my own websites the first thing is that home page thing. Now, what you really want is you want a link to your domain name. Okay, so you don't want um, a link to a page called home unless that happens to be your domain name, you, uh, you know, your home page. What you want is a link to your domain name. So, what you do, go down here to links and you'll put in your URL. So, in this case, this one is cloverproducts.com.au and I'll put the link text which is what you, the visitor is actually going to see and you say add to menu and that will get added to the bottom of this particular menu like that and then I can drag that up to where I want it Just drop it in there okay so then that will be and it says custom so that will be a menu link that will go back to my real home page which is the page which is set up if I go into um, settings and then I go to general sorry settings and then general sorry not general reading I made a mistake there um, if I go into reading that's where you set which page is actually going to be your home page okay so that's the first problem they, you actually need a link to your domain name rather than a link to a page which is called home okay and that's how you do that now the other thing that this person wanted to do was they had the the shop button and below that they had the um, categories so to, in order to put the product categories in, what we do is we go up to screen options and we want to tick on product categories. Now of course this is only going to work if you've got a site with products in, like a WooCommerce site for example, but you tick on product categories. That might already be ticked for you on your um, the way you've got your setup. If it has, you'll see product categories down here. If it's not, you need to tick on product categories. So then when we go down and we drop down product categories, we can see that we've got a whole lot of product categories down here. So let's say, for example, um, let's say this was this was my shop site, my shop page, and I wanted to put the bamboo knitting needles link to that cat that product category under that. I tick that. I go add to menu, and there it is. And then I want to put it underneath the about one, and there it is there. Okay, so now that when that is clicked on, it will go to the bamboo knitting needles product category okay now there's another way you can do menus if you don't want that drop down thing coming from the top if you want a menu on the side and that is to put a widget into a widget area and you can use the woo themes widget for product categories so that it will actually update it for you immediately it'll show product categories that have products in them it won't show the empty ones when you do it this way it will show product categories whether they've got products in them or not so you could get empty product categories appearing when you do it through this menu structure and of course you need to make sure you're updating the right menu and you need to click save at the end of it but I'm not going to save this one because this is just me showing you how to do it okay so I hope that helps um, this man to sort out his problem and anybody else who has the same issue bye